You are the ones who are making America great again. President Trump returned to Western Pennsylvania today. The president's speech just wrapped up and it was a, at a heavy equipment plant in North Fayette. Good afternoon, and in that speech, the president touted his tax cuts. He also wanted everyone to remember how successful he was in Pennsylvania during the election. Lynn Hayes Freeland is live for us this afternoon. Lynn. Good afternoon. Yes, the president left here probably about 40 minutes ago, but he addressed a full house. Most of them were invited guests. Many of them requested to get on the guest list. They wanted to get inside because they wanted to hear the president's report on his first year in office. Now, the president went on to say in his first year, America has seen some 2.2 million jobs created across the country. He went on to say that unemployment rates for African Americans was at its lowest rate ever recorded. And according to the president, unemployment for women across the country is down as well. He went on to talk about his tax cut, and the president says that you should see more money in your paycheck beginning next month. And he says the state of Pennsylvania could see a savings of about $11 billion. The signs of America's comeback can be seen at companies like this one which just had its most successful year in its 35-year history. Congratulations. Good job. And I just learned from the powers that be that H&K Equipment will soon be making a $2.7 million capital investment thanks to the new tax cut. So I appreciate that. And the workers appreciate that. It's good. You're doing great. Great job. Great, great equipment. That means more growth, and ultimately, it means more jobs. Now, while the president was inside H&K Equipment addressing that crowd, on the outside, there were protesters and supporters who wanted to get their messages across to the president as well. I'll have that part of the story coming up at 5. John Delano will be live with more details on exactly what the president said. For now, reporting live in North Fayette, I'm Lynn Hayes-Freeland, KDKA-TV News.